As promised, I have got Dr. John Hatch here in person in studio. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much for coming up today. Thanks for having me. So I have been begging for this guy to get up here. You work with my sister, Christine, mm -hmm. and she pretty much doesn't answer my phone calls because um, you're so busy. She's just like, uh, no, Holly, no. <laughs> but um, I finally twisted arms enough because Hello, you have this awesome book, and we are so excited to hear about it, but let's first just start because we've been talking off camera about this whole journey to how you got to having this book, and it's such a cool story. Mm -hmm. We kind of have to start at the beginning. So you're a doctor uh -huh. of chiropractic, and yep. you have an emphasis in functional neurology. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about how that all happened. Okay, okay. so while I was at school in uh, California, I um, studied just general chiropractic. I thought I was gonna be a rack em and crack em, they say. Uh -huh. And in chiropractic school, there's a program called the Carrick Institute. It's um, a facility that teaches you functional neurology. And Dr. Ted Carrick is the grandfather, we like to call him, even though he's not that old, uh -huh. um, of functional neurology. And he basically showed us how to rehab a brain through therapy. And I had my first patient with Parkinson's for that she had been diagnosed at 56 years old. Um, with really severe tremors and posturing and mask face. And in three weeks, with just colored glasses and sound therapy, she upright, no more uh, tremors, and it changed. Wow. And so that's what got me into it. Tell me some of the people that come in and work with you. So a lot of our patients, uh, they range from a lot of uh, neurological dysfunctions, whether it's a physical one like neuropathy, chronic back pain, vertigo, dizziness, chronic headaches, migraines. Also, people with autoimmune disorders, gut dysfunction, all of those things are still controlled by the brain. So we gotta look at what's going on in the brain. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then we were talking a little bit about anxiety yes. prior to our interview and about the fact that anxiety is one of the main things you treat. Mm -hmm. The important thing is to understand when you're dealing with anxieties, if we take that um, diagnosis, it's usually you're dealing in a neurological fight or flight response. And if you're in a fight or flight, you can't calm down. You can't relax. And people say, it's all in your head. Every uh, time I hear that, yeah. it's all in your head, I laugh because I say, you're absolutely right and you're so absolutely right. wrong. <laughs> in the fact that it, when you're in a fight or flight response, it's a reflexive response. You don't have the ability in a fight or flight response to be like, oh, I'd really like to make a comfortable decision right now. <laughs> It just doesn't neurologically happen. Uh -huh. So when you're in that fight or flight, it's fight, flight, and freeze. Like uh -huh. some people just freeze. If you can change that, then the therapy works. Then the medication works. I've had so many people come in with on massive amount of medication and it's not even working. Yeah. We do a couple brain therapies, get them out of the fight or flight response, then their medication works. Mm -hmm. Then they get the symptom change, and then when they're ready, they go to their doctor and can get off that medication. It's not that that doctor didn't do the right thing. The doctor tried everything they had with what they have and what they know. Uh, I give so much credit to the medical field for what they've learned and what they've taught us. It, sometimes there's more we can do. Sometimes there's uh, another part of that healing process that that individual needs mm -hmm. and wow, makes the greatest change for them. And that's why I love what we do because you don't need to remove what you were doing. It's not evading or getting rid of what you've tried. Mm -hmm. It's building on it. Yeah. Let's talk about the book, mm -hmm. how it all came to pass, because I know you have no time to be writing a book. <laughs> no. I love talking to authors. My co-host Nate Jones just wrote an urban fantasy and he was explaining to me how it's like, you know, you wake up before your kids are up, you, weekends, nights, like on vacation mm -hmm. in the morning. I mean, it's it's not an easy thing to throw one of these out into the world. Yeah. Most of this credit goes to your sister. Oh, um, hey, that's fun. If it wasn't for your sister, uh, Christine, I would never have written the book. Okay. Um, patients come in to our practice uh, dealing with so many issues. Well, we look at the brain so differently. It's all backed in neuroscience, but they don't have anything written. Everything that's written on functional neurology is in neuroscience peer-reviewed articles. They're in massive, thick textbooks. Um, and it's really hard to understand it if you haven't spent your life trying yeah. to study it. Uh -huh. And so I just got so many patients asking me over and over and over again, can you please like give us something? And so finally, Christine, your sister, told me, <laughs> you better write this book. Uh -huh. And so I decided to write the book. And the amazing thing is, is because I didn't have time uh -huh. to write it, I actually spoke it. Okay. I told the story of what your brain does uh -huh. from development and how the um, breakdown in the brain can create gut issues, can create emotional issues, can create 
uh, work issues, people with chronic headaches, everything under the sun, that your brain controls it all. Mm -hmm. There is nothing your brain doesn't control. And so I just wanted to tell people and teach them how to do it. And if this book, you can read it in an hour and a half. Nice. I didn't want a book that if someone read it, it was like, okay, 600 pages later, I don't remember the first and second chapter. Yeah. There's seven basic chapters in the book and mm -hmm. it breaks those down very simply. And then we had uh, our head editor, uh, Sarah, who's the lead editor for JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association. She helped edit it, get it locked in, and now it's ready for you guys to read it. Let's talk a little bit about how you've moved into being a lead presenter and a keynote speaker, okay. um, because obviously this information, people want it. Mm -hmm. You've now written this book and you are being booked all over the place to have it shared with employees and companies mm -hmm. and everywhere. Yep, because the worst day of the week usually is Monday. Why is Monday the worst day of the week when it comes to the, uh, production in the business? And it's because you're back into that stressful environment. You just had this rest, restful weekend and then you come back into this fight or flight re uh, world. There's techniques that I teach these businesses on how to keep their employees out of that fight or flight so the production goes high, so the business is better. The wonderful thing is about major corporations and businesses and even small businesses, it's about taking care of your employees, it's about taking care of them as, a, and as an individual. And so I always look at it as when I come as a presenter, they always look, well, why would this doctor help me with my analytical team or my sales team? Well, if you don't have a high quality functioning brain and can handle stress neurologically, uh -huh. how are you going to perform in work? It's, it's impossible. It's sort of very key. <laughs> and the awesome thing is, from a business standpoint, it doesn't just help their employee, it helps the employee's family. Mm -hmm. And then when you get back to the family, that's what really molds and change. We work with a, a Reborn Heroes, it's um, for wounded uh, vets or people with PTSD. Mm -hmm. And that nonprofit organization helps us uh, get to not just the soldiers, but their families. Yeah. So if you are the event planner in a company, if you are with HR, or if you are an employee with a company and you know you have a health fair and you want to get this guy in there, how do they go about finding you? Yes, so the Basis of Brain Rehab is the name of the website, so it's pretty simple. So the title and the website's the same. And in there at the very bottom, it talks about uh, how to get a hold of us. So if you'd like me to come and speak, uh, the size doesn't matter for us. Uh, we just want change for people. We want to give hope. And you are offering a deal right now as a Talk 365 deal. If you mention that you saw us today here on Talk 365, you're going to get a discount for bringing him in. Do you want to tell about that? Yeah, we'd love to. we just love to help in any way we can. For those of you that like us to come speak and we're giving you um, a 20% discount off of the speaking cost that usually has for someone like myself to come and speak at your event. I absolutely love that. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I love that too because it's always my goal to share knowledge and information to the people out there as well to help mm -hmm. change lives because I've been on a weird journey myself I didn't plan on with a stomach situation and it has definitely given me a ton of empathy and a ton of knowledge as far as what a lot of people go through and what you hear because you mm -hmm. do hear from a lot of doctors. You're just stressed and crazy and it's all in your head. Mm -hmm. And if that's the prognosis you've had for whatever you've got going on, check this out because there is hope and get this book because this information is finally available. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> I appreciate you not answering my phone calls. You're forgiven now. <laughs> now can she go to lunch though? Let's yes. mandate that she has to hang with yeah, me once in a while, right? We're, that should be She important. won't. She's yeah. the boss of everything, right? She will make sure she does it. But anywho, we'll try. All right, well, Dr. Hatch, it was a pleasure. Thank you so pleasure. much. Can we do this again? I would love to. Let's do a follow-up okay. in, in a couple months and see how the book is going. Okay. And we'll go from there. And you've got all kinds of other things coming mm -hmm. down the pipeline mm -hmm. too that I know we can talk about. So yep. we'll, we'll have this uh, to be continued. Thank you. Don't Thank go anywhere. You. We'll be right back right here on Top 365 right after this.